Well, it's time to wake up the water garden from its winter rest. And the way that we've been trying to keep an eye on when to start that process is by observing a thermometer here in the water. And it's about 48, almost 50 degrees. And really the key to it is when your water temperature gets 50 degrees, that's a good sign that things are warming up. And if we look at our plant material, they're starting to grow a little bit. And we're seeing a little bit of fish activity too. So when your water temperature is 50 degrees, that's a time to go in and start cleaning things up. And probably the best thing to start with, if you'll remember last fall before we went into the winter, our plants that were not tropical plants that would overwinter, we put down in the base of the deepest part of the pond to try to insulate them a little bit more. So the first thing we're going to do is start pulling those plants out and then uh, we'll start cleaning them up a little bit. You'll see we have a bulrush here that I pulled up, have a little bit of dead foliage and we'll start cleaning it up. But really this particular plant needs to be repotted. So some of the ones that are root bound will do that. That's a time that you might want to fertilize them too, but repotting them initially is a good thing to do. Now, once we get all of our pots pulled up and we start repotting, get that part of it cleaned up, the next step is to take a skimming net and then go along in the bottom of the pond and you'll see there's all kinds of debris in here, leaves, pine needles. And last year we tried to put up a protective covering with bird netting to try to block any of the leaves from falling in there. Well, the pine needle still went through, so we'd need something a little bit finer. And eventually it just caved in and we weren't successful in trying to keep the debris out. So we need to get those kinds of things cleaned up as well. Now you have to be careful because remember we have fish that are hiding down in the center there. So you want to be careful and not to damage or hurt them when you're cleaning it up. The next step probably would then to be uh, either put in your water level to see if it's down a little bit. Ours is down almost six inches, but just out of curiosity, we went ahead to, and took a pH just to find out what was going on. Now our pH test, we're using a meter here that's used for hydroponic growing to test the water solution. And when we check it, it runs anywhere from about 7.4 to 7.7. And the range for uh, pH in a pond should be anywhere from 6.8 to 8.5. Now you want to go ahead and test it this time of year because if you do have a lot of pine straw, oak leaves, pecan leaves, whatever, sometimes that may cause the water to be a little bit more acidic. And if your pH should run below, say, 6.5, 6.8, you can apply one teaspoon of baking soda per 100 gallons of water per day and then check the pH every day, and once it gets up to seven point, then just leave it alone. Now, a lot of times, we're gonna come in here and add water to get our uh, water level back up. We'd also wanna check the pH again after that. That may correct it in itself. But just out of interest, we wanted to see what it was running with all the debris in it, and so far, things look pretty good for us. Now, when you're repotting your plants, Remember, you want to be careful that we took our tropical plants in the greenhouse and overwintered them because they wouldn't uh, withstand our cold winters. On the tropical plants, like some of the tropical water lilies, hyacinth, etc., it's still a little bit too cool to be bringing them out yet. You want to make sure that your temperatures are up around 70 degrees as far as the water temperature and that we're pretty stable and getting good 65 degree night temperature Fahrenheit and about 70, 75 during the day and that would be when you would then bring the tropicals out. Also, now's a good time to put the filters back in, clean them up if, if you've not done so. Uh, we've got some in both our bog garden in here that we'll clean up. And then when we fill the water level up, since we're adding so much to it at one time, you need to dechlorinate it. And remember, there's all kinds of chemicals on the market that you can remove chlorine and chloramine. Uh, some of them have fancy things in for the fish, but really the electrolytes and just making sure that you're getting the chlorine out is the best thing. Now if your water level dropped too much, some of the specialists recommend only putting in about 5% of the water a day to get it up so it's not too much of a drastic change in temperature for the fish or with your other chemicals. Now speaking of fish, um, we've got our fish food out here. We've not fed them all winter long. Once everything's cleaned up and we have the water in, chlorinated, etc dechlorinated, then we're going to go in and start training the fish again to eat because we will see some activity. And remember, one way to do that is you can shut off the waterfalls and that noise level will cause them to come up, or you can tap on the rocks 
splash in the water, but now we're going to start trying to train the fish to come up and eat for us again. And the last thing that you probably want to remember is if you should add more fish, be sure and check them for any disease problems. And if you're going to bring some in, make sure that you let the bags float again to stabilize the temperature. And also, some people even recommend quarantining the new fish that you're going to come in in another tank until you see that they're healthy and everything before you introduce them to a new pond. And that's strictly up to you. And then once these days start getting warmer, the sunlight comes out. Remember, it's very common for ponds, even ponds that are established, to get a new algae bloom early on in the summer or late spring. And if that should happen, keep in mind that if you have the appropriate number of fish, plant material, that those all together should take care of the algae bloom anywhere from a week to two weeks. If it lasts longer than that, then you may need to treat for that. But an early algae bloom and early summer is a normal process too. So we're going to finish up more of these steps and we're really excited about enjoying our water garden this year and I hope you have a lot of success with yours too.